Hello, and welcome to our video on cyberbullying. Today, we'll be teaching you about cyberbullying and what you can do to keep yourself and others from being bullied online. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is using technology, such as the internet or cell phones, to repeatedly insult, threaten, or harass someone. That girl, Ashley, is so uh, annoying. Totally so annoying! You should send her a message. You can't tell her that. A good idea. You are so annoying. Send. Why are you guys being so mean? Why are you so annoying? I am not annoying. That's not what everyone else at school thinks. Tell her she shouldn't even come to school tomorrow. Good idea. Said. Maybe I won't. Why do people cyberbully others? For one, it's easy. It takes a lot less courage to send a mean message to someone than say something to their face. Two, people think that they can be mean without people finding out who they are, so there won't be consequences, but there always are. And three, people may think that cyberbullying is not a big deal. They don't believe that being mean online can really hurt others, but it can, and it does. People who are cyberbullied often feel depressed and scared. How common is cyberbullying? About half of teens in the United States who have regular access to computers have been bullied online, and about the same number bullied someone online. There are consequences to cyberbullying. Once you send or post something online, you can't take it back, and it can usually be copied or spread around to others, leading to bigger drama. And if you send a mean message to someone, those messages can often be traced back to you. Students caught cyberbullying others with school technology will have their technology privileges taken away. And if you use technology to threaten another person, you can get in trouble with the police. There are things you can do to protect yourself from being a victim of cyberbullying. First, set privacy controls. If you have Facebook or MySpace, set up your account so that only people you trust can see your information or send you messages. Second, never share your password even with your friends. This will prevent anyone from going on your account and reading or sharing your information or pretending they are you. Third, if you're being cyberbullied, keep copies of the messages you received for, as evidence. Most websites, including Facebook, have places where you can report inappropriate behavior. People doing the inappropriate behavior will be banned from the website. You should also show messages to your parents. They can give you advice on what to do and contact a school or the police if necessary. Clear the school just called. Get off the computer this instant. Lastly, don't respond to mean messages with your own mean messages. This usually just makes the situation worse. Remember, the purpose of technology is to learn, share, and connect, not to tear each other down. So don't cyberbully others, and if you see others cyberbullying, Take a stand and let them know that what they are doing is not okay. Together we can make a digital world a fun place and a safe place to be.